everyone, the one MFP here. I hope you're all having a great day today. Matt Mason is an artist I've reacted to a couple of times here on this channel. I reacted to his EP, The Hearse, and I also reacted to one of his more recent songs, The Mask. That song is going to be on his next album, Bank on the Funeral. And today I'm going to be reacting to another song that's slated to be on that album. It goes by the name of Beggar's Song. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name's Matt. I post reaction videos here. So if you enjoy that type of content and you like what you see in this video, please take the time to check out some of my other reactions. And if you enjoy those, please hit that subscribe button. I always appreciate the support. Now let's get into this. Matt Mason, Beggar's Song. A blind man, I am wild and free. One more whiskey, I am wild and free. Oh, but I'm a beat down, washed up son of a bitch. I got one more cigarette and all my money is spent. But I'm a be damned if I let it keep me down. Oh, my mother Mary, come walk with me. I am on four drugs, I am wild and free Wander through the darkness and come walk with me Oh yeah, I'm a beat down, washed up son of a bitch I got one oh more cigarette and all my money is spent But I'm a beat down if I let it keep me down Beat down if I let it keep me down Sing it even louder when the money is gone Because we'll be damned if I let it keep me down Song and we sing them even louder when the money is gone because we'll be damned if we let it keep us down. I got one more cigarette and all my money is spent, but I'm a be damned if I let it keep me down. All right, so that was Beggar's Song by Matt Mason. I think I'm going to start off with the music video here. We seem to be following the life of a character who's got a box chain to him. He's got chains around his neck and, you know, he's hanging out in this bar. There he appears to come into contact with what appears to be mobsters. There's this one scene where the attention is actually on the box and the mobsters are around him. And I, I'm not sure, but it kind of looks like they were trying to get him to open the box and he was reluctant to do that. But right in the background, there seemed to be another character who is representing death. That's pretty interesting considering how the last EP ended. Um, you know, he was talking about the shadow and how he is the shadow. It's going to be interesting to see how that theme plays into the upcoming album. But with regards to this music video, we have this character that seems to represent death who's hanging around these mobsters and this main character. After this scene where the character comes into contact with these mobsters, we're brought into other scenes where all these characters are together. I think the first scene is the one where they rob the chicken man. Um, you know, they steal his car and then they beat him up and then the chicken man turns into an actual chicken. I wasn't too sure what to make of that transformation, but it was interesting because, you know, after they beat him up and once he turned into a chicken, they started being kind to the chicken. The one thing that came to mind for me in that scene was maybe they didn't hurt the chicken because they didn't have anything to gain from hurting the chicken. Whereas with the chicken man, they had a car to gain out of it, right? They stole a car. That was my interpretation of the scene. I think it was just there so that we could create a profile for these characters, for these mobsters. They're looking for personal gain and they're gonna get it if it means it's coming at the expense of somebody else. If it means hurting somebody else, they'll do it. 
And we have some other scenes that suggest that they're living a dangerous lifestyle. Uh, you know, we have the one where one of them has their hand on the table and they're just playing with a knife trying to go through each gap between the fingers. But I don't think we need any bigger symbol than them literally having death following them around. So basically, to sum all of that up, we have a guy who's in a bar, he's just drinking and he's got this box attached to him and he's got chains around his neck and he comes into contact with some people who live a dangerous lifestyle and they make him a part of their group. Now I think what led to them gravitating towards him was the box in the first place. And that just has me wondering, what does this box represent? He's attached to it, he's reluctant to open it up. By the end of the video, he refuses this potion that the mobsters concocted for him, and that's basically what leads to him leaving that group. He walks out on his own, but even in that ending scene, he's still chained to that box. Now I have my assumptions as to what the box represents in this video, but before getting into that, I'm gonna get into the lyrics of the song a little bit. First of all, it starts off with some religious matter. Um, Jesus, come talk to me. Then in the other verse, he says, Oh, Mother Mary, come walk with me. Those two verses are pretty similar. There's just a few things that are switched around. You know, in the first one, he says, I am but a blind mess. I am wild and free. And the other one, he says, I am on four drugs. I am wild and free. In the first one, he says, I know that I need us more than I need me. In the second one, he says, I know that I felt less the less I knew me. And I think another really important line to this that connects us to the music video is, one more whiskey, I am wild and free. So what we have here is a person who appears to be down on his luck. And that becomes even more apparent in other sections of the song. He says, I'm beat down and washed up. He says, I got one more cigarette and all my money is spent. So I tie this to what I was seeing in the music video and what I'm getting out of it is, this man is in this bar because he's trying to deal with his issues and he's, trying to deal with them through alcohol, but you know, that's not a healthy or sustainable way to be dealing with issues. He's basically just trying to drown them out. Now the thing with that is if he's trying to rely on cigarettes and alcohol to deal with his issues, eventually he will run out of money and that's the position he's at as described in the song. And I think that's why in the music video he ends up hanging out with a crowd that he wouldn't otherwise hang out with. But then towards the end of the song, he reaches this epiphany where he says, you know it's not over, it's okay to let yourself hurt. Swimming in the murky water, won't you come on out? This epiphany also coincides with the part in the video where he says no to these people. You know, they're, they're offering him this concussion and he just says no and he walks away from them. It's as if in that moment he came to a point where he said, how far are you willing to go? And I think that's what led him to breaking away from that lifestyle. He turned to these people as an alternative to the alcohol and the cigarettes. He found that even in living this type of dangerous lifestyle, he wasn't being helped. He was still living with those chains around his neck. He was still attached to that box. So if anything, he was just making matters worse. And we end on this chorus where he says, we sing a beat down washed up beggar song and we sing it even louder when the money is gone because we'll be damned if we let it keep us down. I found that really interesting because throughout this song, this person is looking for help. You know, he's turning to cigarettes, he's turning to alcohol, he ends up turning to a dangerous crowd. All of this to help him out of the predicament he finds himself in. Now, when in that predicament, one may be tempted to justify their actions by, you know, describing the predicament and saying, you know what, it makes sense that I did such and such because I found myself in this position. You know, one may turn to alcohol when things aren't going so great and they may feel that that's acceptable. But then it comes to a point where it really becomes a problem. And when it really becomes a problem, that becomes an issue in of itself. But then one may be tempted to rationalize things that are perceived to be worse. And he's talking about when the money is gone. Say hypothetically, this person is turning to alcohol and they can no longer afford alcohol they've become dependent on alcohol to deal with their issues. So what are they gonna do to get that money? Because they absolutely need it if they want to rely on the resource they've been accustomed to relying on in these types of situations. And that's when the hole this person digs just gets deeper and deeper. They just rationalize things that they wouldn't have rationalized to begin with, but because they dug themselves a hole, 
you know, things just got deeper and deeper for them. And they just get to a point where they lose themselves, you know, they're no longer the person they thought they were. It just becomes this slippery slope of harmful decisions. And I think that's what this song is describing here. I think that's what the music video is portraying. I think the box that the main character is chained to in the music video is his issues or his life in general. It's just things he has to deal with. He could go to the bar, he could drink all the alcohol he wants, he could go hang out with this crowd. Regardless of the situation, he's gonna be chained to that box. And I think there's an interesting significance to him not opening the box. I think it shows that he just doesn't want to open up, you know? He knows that there's a lot hidden away in that box and he just doesn't want to deal with it. He's not ready for that. I believe he is thinking about doing it when he does encounter those mobsters. Um, but he still opts to keep it shut, and I think that's an important part of the story here. He's trying to think if it's in his best interest to open that box, and he comes to the conclusion that it isn't. I think he's hoping that in going with these people, hopefully his mind will be taken off of the box and he'll at least forget about it if he doesn't actually get unchained from it. But one way or the other, he's not willing to open the box yet. But anyways, that's what I make of the song and the music video. To summarize, I see it as a song where Matt Mason is talking about a person who's in a difficult situation. They turn to alcohol, they turn to cigarettes for help. That only ends up making matters worse in the long run. You know, it doesn't actually help his issues. If anything, it just masks them. And then beyond that, the environment he finds himself in has to do with you know, the alcohol he's consuming in order to get rid of his pain. That same environment is the one that leads to him hanging out with these people who are a bad influence for him. So I take this as a song where Matt Mason is saying, it's okay to be hurt. It's, it's okay to allow yourself to hurt. If you keep bottling it up and if you keep trying to find ways to mask the pain, one bad decision could lead to another, which could lead to another, and sooner or later you don't know who you are anymore. And yeah, that's what I made of The Beggar Song by Matt Mason. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. You know I always love seeing your feedback. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I always appreciate the support. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day, y'all.